Hi, my name is Felipe Rodriguez and I teach philosophy in the philosophy department. Next semester, I am going to be teaching a class called Memory and Imagination. It is a philosophy class, but I would like to welcome students in philosophy as well as in neuroscience and psychology. Philosophers have wondered what's the relationship between memory and imagination. So, for instance, Aristotle suggested that memory ought to be about the past and that imagination ought to be about things that are merely possible. And as a result, he thought that memory and imagination were entirely different faculties. Later on, a philosopher called David Hume suggested that, in fact, memory and imagination might share lots of commonalities and that there might not be a fact of the matter as to whether something is a memory and something is an imagination. The best that we can do is to try to use our psychological mechanisms to separate them apart. Many philosophers don't like that idea. Many philosophers want to keep memory and imagination completely separated. But it turns out that recent empirical evidence coming from psychology and neuroscience have suggested that memory and imagination has a lot, have lots of things in common. In this class, we're going to study those commonalities between memory and imagination. And we're going to see who's going to win. Is it Aristotle who's going to be right, or maybe it is Hume who's going to be right. So, welcome. Join us.